Unit 3, Section C, Exercise 6. George, can I talk to you in private for a minute? Of course, Gemma. What's the matter? Don't tell anyone, but I've just seen Sarah taking some money out of Alex's jacket pocket. What? You mean she borrowed some money? No. I think she stole it. Where was this? In the classroom just now. Everyone was out for break time. I just went back for something I'd forgotten. What did you do? Nothing. I just froze. I couldn't believe it. I didn't know what to do or to say. Did she see you? I don't think so. But there's more to it than that. I've noticed that other little things have been disappearing lately. Lucy lost her necklace and Sam's lunch money went missing. But Lucy and Sam are both as forgetful as each other. It doesn't mean their things were stolen. Why do you think it's Sarah? Well, Lucy loves that necklace. She only takes it off for sports. And Sarah and Lucy do sport together. And Sam did have his dinner money earlier that day. I saw him take it out and check it. Sarah was there and saw him too. But Gemma, there's no proof. Are you absolutely sure? No, of course I'm not sure. It's just making me wonder. Don't you think Sarah is quite down these days? I've asked her what's wrong more than once. She just says everything's fine, but I don't believe it. Hmm, come to think of it, she has been a bit quieter and more miserable lately. I'm not sure what to do. Should we speak to Sarah or her teacher? Oh, not a teacher. What if I'm wrong? That would be terrible. Well, what are the facts? Basically, you saw Sarah put her hand in Alex's pocket and take out some money. Yes. So, you have to tell her what you saw and see what she says. I suppose so. But what if there's a simple explanation? She might be devastated that I'm suggesting she's a thief. Perhaps I should check with Alex first? Actually, he's someone who does get easily enraged. He might get angry and start making a big fuss. That would be worse for Sarah. Look, shall I come with you to talk to her? Would you? I'd be really grateful.